I was having lunch with some people last week and uh, an individual who is very well informed um, uh, was sitting at the table and I was gloating about the fact that, uh, you know, we're probably going to, we may hit $30 million in, in, in uh, hotel occupancy tax this year. And um, I was just excited about that. And uh, all of a sudden it was like a lead balloon. I mean, the, the air was let out of my balloon when this person responded, well, we might be talking about maybe getting closer to 40 rather than 30 if everybody paid their hotel occupancy tax. And I looked at this person, I go, what do you mean? And this person um, insisted that uh, they were aware of a, at least a dozen hotels um, ranging from small to very large hotels, uh, successful hotels that had not been paying their hotel occupancy tax over the last year. We asked Revan Tax Director John Camacho if this was true. Well, I, I, we, we have to basically go back and, and check. I don't know. Uh, we just certainly have to go back and, and look at uh, our records to see uh, to first determine uh, basically who are, are um, the, the, uh, the hotels, uh, motels, and uh, all these uh, that are, are actually required to, to uh, withhold the, the uh, occupancy tax and, and, and turn them over to the government. So until uh, such time uh, we go, I go back and look into these things, I'll, I'll be able to determine whether there's underreported uh, or, or, or any of the occupancy tax. This is exactly what Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz has asked of the director. In fact, Cruz has filed a Freedom of Information Act request that the director provide him with a list of how many establishments are paying their taxes and how many aren't, minus the actual names of the establishments. Camacho says... He will look into it and provide the senator with the list minus the business names. He says it'll all come down to his staff first reviewing the list of hotels and motels that should be collecting and paying hotel occupancy tax and seeing whether or not they are filing their taxes. We won't determine if they're underreporting. We will determine first if they're, fi they're, they're filing and, 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 and actually withholding that and paying that over to the government. That's the first thing that we need to do. But how do they know if businesses are underreporting? The underreporting is, is basically, uh, will be only determined if we actually do an audit. So, uh, and you know, there's got to be a need to do an audit, you know, in, in that aspect. Vice Speaker Cruz says that he just wants to get to the bottom of this and find out whether or not this is true, and if true, whether or not Revan Tax is taking the proper action. And I've also asked the uh, Director of Revenue and Taxation if he's aware of the fact that in the hotel occupancy tax chapter, there's a provision that makes it a felony for someone to not assess or remit the hotel occupancy tax. And I've asked the uh, Director whether or not he has uh, sent any of the names of these hotels to the Attorney General for prosecution. Vice Speaker Cruz says that GovGuam should be collecting all the taxes owed before they think about assessing any new taxes. The information that I, that I receive from this individual is, I think, very, very, very credible. I'm fairly confident that they, everybody will be surprised that, in fact, after he does his review, he will discover um, that there are numerous hotels or a good number of them that have not been paying their hotel occupancy tax. And at, at least for several months this last year, uh, if not for years.